this uh, this song started with a kind of chord progression that I'd had for a, a long time, really. Um, and I wrote a lot of this in uh, in the lockdowns, in the third lockdown, um, back at the start of 2021. And um, I find this a lot of the time with with songs where they uh, they come together with um, chord sequences that you've had for a long time and you've tried to make them work for a lot of other different songs and they're just sort of not sticking but the catalyst the thing that kind of made me want to um, that helped me write this song was that I kind of wanted to write another song that had like a big saxophone part basically and um, because I just love saxophone, uh, <laughs> like hearing it on, on songs and stuff. Um, so I sort of thought to myself like, okay, what would that song sound like if I created something that could have another big saxophone part? Um, and that's really what got me uh, started with this. And I had this, this chord sequence. <laughs> But it was slightly different. I'd had it like in a much slower sort of. For another song, and it had a slightly different melody, like. And I was trying to think, and I think like sitting in lockdown, not being able to play live and. Um, Back in January, there was still sort of not a real, um, a real idea of when you could go out again and, and gigs would come back. So I think I always think when I'm writing, I always think in a live way. How is this going to sound really with a band? Um, so I kind of, I kind of wanted to make it sort of punchy and catchy um, and sort of grab you quite quite quickly. So. Hence the sort of like, uh, the quite fast like. And then I have that and I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about saxophone, I'm thinking about like, I want this to be sort of, um, yeah, this, ca this catchy song. Um, and really the next big part that comes in is uh, the main riff on the guitar, um, which is, And you know, layer that on top of. And suddenly, I was like, okay, I think this is cool. I've got something. Um, and a lot of like a lot of writing, I, I feel, happens very subconsciously. So I was not thinking. Um, I don't know. I couldn't see the rest of the song just yet. But having those two elements, instantly, I just was like, that's that sounds really fun. That sounds really good. Um, but again, I find that sometimes you get into like this quite tunnel vision state. And I was very focused on this is going to be a song with a big sax part. And this is going to um, this is going to like be really uh, encompass all of that. And it slightly makes everything quite rigid for you. So you don't think about uh, anything else. Um, and I was I was hitting a few walls with that. I, w I wasn't able to sort of. Um, yeah to think of anything else for it. So really it started expanding when I kind of firstly just recorded those two guitar parts and um, and yeah, and I'd sort of found uh, different ways of like layering it up and, and arranging it. Um, there were sort of a few different ideas floating around with it. Um, I had, uh, I found some voice notes from the first time. So this is So it starts it sounds fairly similar but there's whole different bits of it. And, oh, it doesn't want to stop. 
stop? <laughs> Why did it, did it stop? Um, and so the melodies change and the whole kind of like, and it's, 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 it's all sort of, um, and I also don't have loads of lyrics then, so I'm sort of like filling in the gaps. I've got a couple lines like, lying low, didn't know. Um, and again, that's why I like, so it's like songwriting kind of comes very just subconsciously and very just very, like in the moment, that sounds good, that feels good. Um, whilst you're doing a lot of thinking and a lot of like um, sculpting of what it is, sometimes it just it just happens because you kind of created the, the moment for that. Um, but once I kind of went over to Logic and started uh, building it, it, it kind of, the arrangement came from there. Um, one big thing I had been thinking about uh, was how can I make my songs more texturally interesting? So what I mean by that is you've got the core of the song, which is say like the guitar, the bass, the drums, the hook and vocals. And you could just play that straight down the line. Um, and um, that sounds cool. But as a production, I kind of, I want to make it more interesting. I want the, I want it to like um, catch your ear. And for me writing it, I want it to like pique my curiosity and, and um, be interested in the different sounds. So you might, I have that main, uh, that main chord sequence, but I could play that acoustically. Could I play that on the keyboard? Could I find a different way of making that texture um, sound uh, interesting that isn't just the electric guitar with a bit of cor with some chorus on it um, and some ex like for example uh, there's a few in the first so we've got the first verse going so I pitch my voice which I've never done before and I wouldn't have like thought maybe is a sort of a natural thing to do for me so but I love that bit it's, it's a really like small section of it but it like emphasizes those lyrics which I, I wanted to, I wanted to and it kind of gives like instantly gives a little bit more depth to to the whole kind of the whole uh, sound of it um, another kind of another textural thing was the uh, in the mix this sounding sort of keyboard and doesn't sound much by itself but I love that sound I love the kind of like so it's a it's a keyboard with reverb and echo and then it's like the Turkish loop on Logic but it's it's sounding very kind of acoustic and um, uh, I love that sort of sound um, I don't know why it just sounds really cool but where it sits in the song and where it sits in the mix is saying like it's just up here it's like far behind and up here and really in the forefront you've got um, you've got the main you've got the main riff so like on first listen you might not be like thinking about that you might not be or hearing that really it's just a it's just a sort of small thing that is in there but I bring it up because that that is really a thing that I uh, wanted to make happen more in my songs. I wanted them to be like these full productions that sounded sort of uh, rich and that the multiple listens that if you come back to it, you get different things out of it. 